Hi, my name is Roger Ahuja, and I'm going to take a moment to show you how to spot a, um, a fake email using Microsoft Outlook's junk email folder. Now, I've grabbed a couple of emails that I got here uh, that were spam that looked somewhat legit, not completely, but a little bit. Um, this one here, for example, it's got um, you know the PayPal picture and if you move the mouse over it actually says um, paypal.com slash us um, but if you move the mouse over here you'll notice it says www-paypal-com dot uh, servercom now that tells you right there that that's not the um, actual PayPal address that's a subdomain is what it's called I'm going to start by moving this email over to the junk mail folder and when we do that what Outlook does is it actually expands it out so you can see what the link is without having to put the mouse over it. Now the actual website here is Ameriserve.com right here. Um, this is a subdomain of Ameriserve.com like uh, movies.yahoo.com would be a subdomain of yahoo.com. It's a part of yahoo.com but it's a separate domain. Um, and then continuing on, here's another one. And again, if we just move the mouse over it, you can see it's canals.ru. Um, that is um, probably an international website because it's not a .com or a .net or a .org. So that would be a clue uh, unless you're getting wedding invitations from internationally. Uh, even though up here it says hotel uh, Mirador, I can't even pronounce that, I apologize, um, dot com. And uh, over here, um, this one pretends to be from citizensbank.com. There's a zip file attached. Anytime there's a zip file attached, you can pretty much expect that that's a fraudulent email. Um, and if, you, if I was to open this thing, it would install a virus into my computer. Somehow, uh, this has gotten through the spam filter. I'm not sure how or why, but it did. Um, here's another popular one is UPS.com. Uh, we're all expecting packages from UPS nowadays or FedEx or somebody. Um, and uh, so again, if I move the mouse over, you could see it's not actually from UPS.com. It's from ZAOBMT.RU. Um, you can see these easier if you move it into the junk mail folder and uh, take a look at that and you could see the full URL here and you're not getting anything from UPS in this particular case and uh, that's just a couple of tips and that's it